Welcome back to the adventures of Grandmaster Bog Ironside, who is, of course, House Grimer the Kymer. Yesterday, we conquested the entirety of one fell swoop, the entirety of Great House Slalu, destroyed. They fled to the Skadian Isles, and now they've called in Big Daddy Arcanon himself, Brother Mervon to come and clap our cheeks, which is exactly what he's doing. He's launched an inquisitorial conflict against us, but I thought it was, um, I generally thought it was the end of the world a little bit, but it turns out it's just the Arcanon. He hasn't caught in any of his tributaries yet, but he might, so bear with that one. 1,800 men. We could turn up to Vivek and we could burn the fucker down, and that would probably shut him up for a while. Um, I don't know if that would be that straightforward, as I recall. The Ascadian Isles, uh, more specifically, of course, the Amsibi kind of religion, have the ability to spawn in a, a disgusting amount of troops, like a boatload of troops, as we found out when we were playing as the Dwemer, um, when we went to war against the Dunmer, and they, they did they did kind of kick us around quite well, even though we had fucking Numidium. So, 3,443 troops. In theory, just by numbers alone, we should win this. We've got 1,000 versus 3,400. We've got, I would assume, much better commanders. If we only base it on Bog, we've got much better commanders, but we've also got some very, very skilled landed characters by design of course obviously i landed the high martial characters in theory we should be able to deal with this until he does that and call in just about every fucker in the whole of morrowind oh good um so how do we end this conflict we could just allow him to take it we could surrender the cult of boethia would lose moral authority uh he would vassalize and take all of the titles within the duchy of thea which is going to be four. It's going to be a big chunk of what we've already picked up, right? We can't swear fealty to him. We, we can't offer to be a tribute of his because we are Boethia. So that won't work. That's the normal way you would obviously gain yourself protection. I don't know what we're going to do here. Um, this is, this is quite difficult. This is quite difficult. Um, if we can somehow win this, if we can somehow pull it out of the bag and defeat them this time... We can turn it on them and declare an offensive war and grab some land. Even if we start snatching up parts of House Radaran, although they are providing a nice border against Skyrim, I guess. Although, to be fair, we've got the same border as they do with Skyrim. Um, we can start snatching up parts of Radaran, which have been massively weakened by Skyrim's inquisitorial conflicts. And I believe ours... Uh, oh, they are part of Falalu. Okay, fair enough. We could turn it on House Drez down here. Um, or whoever they are now. House Serrano. Go down and grab these guys up, seeing as they've been weakened quite significantly as well. Some splinter states too. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Either way, let's focus defensively on winning this war. If we can catch... I mean, the Arcanon's looting troops. If we can catch him, this war's over. All we've got to do is get him in prison. In fact, could we just kidnap the fucker? Let's try it. Hey, get kidnapped. Plot to steal artifacts. Plot to kill. Um, assassinate. We could do that, because we're part of the Morag Tong. Um, open spellbook. Okay, bear with me here. Open spellbook. Drain. What do we drain? Drain health. Okay, drain health. That has a small chance. Very, very minor chance of potentially killing him off. Then we'll just try and assassinate him. Now, I don't believe that will end the caster's bell light because it's a, it's a theocracy. Oh, and then Indra will take over. Oh, weird. I guess he becomes the new Arcan and then someone takes over Great House Indra. No idea how that works. Um... Well, let's go ahead and assassinate the guy then and see if that will help out at all. Uh, there are many options I can pursue. However, there are none of them. Maybe that's because we're at war. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, well. We'll have to rely on the old-fashioned try and capture him in battle then. If we can pull this off, that would be... Oh, my God. You fool. You gave me such false hope then. We got a man called Tethel. Uh, chase him down. We might still be able to grab him here. Now, how many troops have they all got? Redoran have 2,200. House Inderil have 5,400. Drez have... 2,000. Telvani, we're looking at 2,600. Um, and then we've got these guys here. Um, Hlaran? Laran, However you want to say that. They've got 700. And then, of course, the Arcanon himself has 2,400. If we pick them off, if we choose our battles carefully here and we pick them off piece by piece, our army, our biggest army, assuming we can get all of them combined, is bigger than most of the other armies in the Tribunal Temple. At which point, as long as we've got good commanders on that and don't take too many risky battles, we might be able to hold this down. How the fuck did they win that? Okay, never mind. We've lost. We immediately just got clapped. Okay, fine. Surrender. We can't do anything else at this stage, so let them fucking have it. That's very annoying. It was very annoying, but there was nothing we could have done at that situation. Oh, you big fucking bitch. It's probably playing on very hard, I guess. <laughs> you 
Motherfucker. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Good. Okay. So as fast as uh, as fast as we've grabbed land, we've lost it. Brilliant. Not much we can do. Again, nothing we can do about that. So won't be too won't be too hard on my man Bog here. I guess we'll just sit around. I mean, there's a fairly obvious solution to the problem, but I hate doing it because it seems pretty scummy. We just sell a shitload of artifacts and we sit on a mountain of gold. And then next time the Tribunal Temple come knocking, we raise a shitload. Basically, do nothing offensively. Invest and save. We raise a massive army. We crush the Tribunal Temple. They pay us war reparations to cover the cost of the armies. Then after that, we go on an offensive war immediately. Let's see what we can find then. Amalek here is a great place to buy or sell items. Let's go and just buy basically anything. I mean, the 18... I shouldn't even be looking at the gold value. Just to fucking anything at this stage, right, is better than... Better than trying to consider it. It's not that we're that desperate to save two or four or anything. Let's get some fish sold. 20, 225 gold is still absurd. Now, this is going to cut into, of course, our favor gain with Boethia. But you've got to, we've, we've got to take some, we've got to take some risks with this. You know, we, we've, we've got to kind of put that on the back burner and instead try and build up that money so that we can potentially try and wade off the Tribunal Temple. Now, just because we're at Truce as well, but the Tribunal Temple doesn't mean that Dress or Inderil or Redoran, I think, if they've got more than six dudes, could come down and also clap us. So we do have to bear that in mind, especially with the societies essentially allowing them access to, to very cheap and easy claims. Do you want a tournament? Absolutely not. I can't afford that shit. Let's go back on the business focus. And I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed by the Morag Tong. We didn't really get much out of them. The Thieves Guild ended up being a much better option. I thought Morai Tom was a bit more on brand. So what about the Council of House Veloth? What can we do with these guys then? Um, and by these guys, I mean us. Of course I know him. He's me. Um, what have we got here? We can still study specializations. Uh, we can gain training, but very slowly. And that's basically it. Okay. Um, well, let's check our options then. Is there like a guild hall? Uh, visit guild hall. Here we are. Study a specialization. N nothing at all. Ah, oh, shit. It's because we've already studied two specializations, and I guess this one doesn't offer... This one won't offer the spell sword specialization for fairly obvious reasons. Sorry, Nightblade for fairly obvious reasons. Okay, never mind then. Um, ruler decisions, perhaps? We've got to abandon leadership trait, uh, blah, 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 form of confederacy. What, what is that? Um, does not have the law. No underscore decision. Incredible. Can we raid? We could raid our neighbors, our, our Dunma neighbors. There's no reason we couldn't. And if we go for slavery as well, which I'm sure will pass no problem at all, right? Yeah, basically. Let's enable some slavery then. And that'll be a nice way to bring in a shitload of gold as well. We'll just go raid all of our borders here. Unsurprisingly, the Dunma guy is not up for going for slavery against his own people, weirdly enough. And it was passed without problem. Okay, fantastic. So let's raise what troops we've got. Again, keep as much money in the treasury as possible. That will be our emergency funds. And then we'll just run all the way up and down here repeatedly, gaining as much gold as possible. We could have raided into Skyrim as well. Seems a little risky. Uh, they haven't even got anything worth stealing, to be honest. The benefit to raiding Skyrim would be that they wouldn't be able to reinforce troops very quickly. It's, you know, it's not as if we're going right to their capital and knocking on the door, is it? So let's go ahead and get Bog on the center. Basically, we need siege leaders right now, so you're pretty good. Uh, it's the only siege leader we've got, so that's doesn't really matter. Then we'll just go for Marshall. We'll start up here, and we'll work our way around. And I get to spend the next four hours listening to <laughs> Mountain and Blade sound effects, my favorite thing. What well, we've got? Ah, oh, more Market District. Fantastic. Local peddlers. We've got bread. We've got dyes. Or we've got pork ribs. It doesn't matter. I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm in just the habit of checking it now, even though it's kind of irrelevant. Okay, get out of here. We are now up to a mighty 547 gold. Virak has fallen. The garrison is defeated and the populace has surrendered. The commander general's asked if we should take any able-bodied men back to the Great House of Eloth as slaves. Sell them at auction just gives us straight... Once we enslave 15 promises, we shall be known as a slaver. Oh, interesting. Okay. Don't know if that's any good. Um, do we want slaves? And where will that end up? That will go into Mournhold. So let's take slaves for our capital from that one. We might want to keep doing that until there's nowhere else to put them and then just sell them off. I imagine the taxes that we'll gain from the culmination of having slaves in every province will be greater than the amount of money we'd make just for selling them. What is this? You didn't tell me that. Come on, Narhold. <laughs> what do you call it, Mo? I've made that joke in so many fucking series, but it works every single time. Population. Oh, we have no space for them. Sell them. Yeah, because we've only got Amalex here. Fine. Wait. Oh, of course we've only got Amalex here. I kept these ones and then they've just been conquested. Well, I guess that decision has been made for me. Fantastic. This is a bit risky, but I think I'm going to do it. 2,200 versus 1,400. Uh, I feel like they're probably clappers, especially as we're taking river crossing. Bollocks. Okay. Um... 
Mercenaries will appear as close as they possibly can. I guess we'll hire... So we'll, oh, fuck. I guess we'll hire you two then for the time being. Makes up another 600. Then they've got a 200 troop advantage. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go for it. I'm accidentally... Oh, we're not sieging. We're, wait, we're sieging that down? Why? Whose war is this? Oh, it's this dude that's declared war on us. My bad. That looks like a... It looks like a rebel flag. That's why I assumed it was. Um, okay, fine. Well, that's okay. I had no idea. Thought for a second we were raiding it just because obviously these guys were Martyrs Raiders there for a brief time. Okay, uh, bog on the center. Let's get you on the flank, you on the other one. 2,300 versus 1,799. Very risky, but we'll give it a go. Show no mercy. Kill him dead. Come on. Oh, we got annihilated. Okay. I shouldn't have been so... I should not have tried that. Okay, fuck it. I'm trying to save money too desperately, but there's no point in saving money if we're just going to get fucking clapped, is it? Right, go on then. That's a shame. It cost us a lot more than... Oh. Oh, fuck off. We're dead. Randomly. Randomly died in a battlefield duel. There you go. And that means we've lost our... Yep, I will lead. Come on. Come on. There we are. Okay. We might just be able to claw this war back. You mother... I can't believe you just die randomly in a fucking war. Oh, I hate that. That's base game, so I can't be... I'm obviously not mad at the mod or anything. That is base game CK2, and I've said it every single time. It's shit. It's terrible. Um, liberated my people? No. Leave them here. That's our province. I guess it's because we counter-sieged it, right? Um, so let's go, and, let's go and do some damage now. Oh, fuck. Now we've got them, Civvy Rebels. Oh, my God. This is falling apart so fast. Thank God we've got a mighty powerful ruler to lead our people. 48-year-old Dank Stank. 48-year-old is obviously very young for a... For any sort of mer. Uh, he's a level 2 crusader. Oh, wow. Okay. He's done a pretty damn good job there then, huh? Um, find a spouse. What? Is that just an... Hmm. I feel like we need... We need, we need obviously, a, a Kaima wife. So we'll go ahead and employ a debutante. What is that? Wry mouth. Oh, good. Um, she's not what I asked for. Be gone. Maybe I can invite someone to court instead. Let's see who we can dig up here. I said dig up. I didn't mean skeletons, friend. Join court. Yes. Brilliant. Uh, okay. Diplo range. Yes. My religion, my culture. Married. Preferably no. Okay. What are our choices then? Uh, we've got powerful voice. Not bad. She, she. She'll, she'll marry us. I'm sure. She, she, she'll marry us. Perfect. No. I'd like to have children. I'd like to have children. Oh, no. I'd like to have children. Who's unlikely to have children? What, we are? On, on what grounds? Commanding. Oh. Fucking seriously? Okay. Bear with. Let's try that again. That's why we couldn't get bloody married. Because we were leading troops. Unreal. Do we prefer that on melodious voice, do you think? Um, we go for powerful voice, seeing as I imagine warfare is going to be our... Uh, is going to be our game for what? What are you talking about? Oh, because she's skilled? Okay, let's send him a bribe. There you go. So much for not spending any money. Okay, we good? <sighs> okay. This is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? I can see it now. Uh, a mage wife. She'll do. Yeah, you want to... Yes, that'll do. Fine. Just give me anyone at this stage so we can get back on the front lines. Right, so their capital's been knocked down. Where are the armed civvy rebels? 4,000? 4,000? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I remember we had this kind of same issue when we were playing as the Dwemer, of course, that we tried to... Oh, cool. Oh, we got Brave for free. Very nice. Um, oh, that's part of... That's one of the effects, is it not? Um, where... House traits. There we are. Characters will certainly change personality and traits to better represent their interests and the traditions of their house. Cool. So we took... Taking back the War Gold. Um, we, we're going to need to hire some troops. Oh, for fuck's sake, they're back in the capital again. Get out. If we want to deal with those Elm City rebels, we need to hire some troops. But if you want to hire some troops, you've got to deal with this war to free up the fucking capital. Get out. Get out of here. They've got a fort in Mournhold. Get out of here. Right, let's try that again. Let's see who we've got for total strength. We've still got our... Yeah, right. We've still got our Holy Order hired. Argonia Fighters Guild. Very expensive monthly cost. Fucking hell. All that money we saved up is just in the fucking gutter already. Good God. Right. You guys come through. Let's go smash those rebels first. When that's done, that's done. And we, we can focus on... This one where they're actually trying to take land. Because these guys are sweeping through. Get out of here. Maybe some uh, maybe some sympathetic locals kind of helping them out. You guys need to fuck off. Be gone. Okay, we're good. We also inherited... Oh, we inherited Narhold. Oh, fine. That's okay with me. All right, we're pushing them back very, very slowly here. That's still not ideal at all, is it? My God, look at this mess. 15 and 56. Now, the money... As long as the money well stays decently... 
Decently topped off. We shouldn't have to worry too much about, oh, fuck, we've got like 10 more months of war. 12, uh, slightly more than 10 more months of war, but it's not ideal. Um, 43%. Where are the rest of the rebels then? How is that not it? They've got nothing else. What are you talking about? Off a piece? I'm losing, but I won't get up. You haven't got anything, you weird man. Oh, fuck them. Right, okay. Let's deal with this war first, and then we'll worry about non-existent Elm City rebels after that. There they are. Reinforcements. Ah, oh, yes. 5,000 out of fucking nowhere. Brilliant. Trishan actually did him in a little bit there. Okay. My name Marvin. Welcome, Marvin. Uh, what do you want? Group of slaves established in Nalhal to set their eyes upon Andrethus. They say the province has a lot of ripe settlements. Um... 50% chance we successfully enslave them. If we give them 25 gold, there's a 75% chance. Ah, cool. Um, Narhold gains slaves. Yeah, we'll give some slaves to Narhold. That's fine by me. Right, count the and we should be good. There we go. Thank fucking God for that. No. No, they have not. You liar. <laughs> it's born in just as the war ended. God, we timed that when we did. Okay. So I can't believe this war isn't over either, given that we've got the capital siege. I guess it's because they've still got Mournhold? When the hell did you get Mournhold again? Oh! The money well is already dry? 900 gold. Gone just like that. Oh, you fucking traitorous Argonian. Should have expected as much from dirty little lizards. Fuck me. Oh, come on. How many of these troops are ours now? Barely any of them. Brilliant. Um, yep. Go on. Sell them at auction. There we are. We might be able to earn a little bit of gold back here. Take that Mournhold. This war's over. Free the slaves. No, leave them. Leave them. They're our slaves, you moron. Right. 85%. Come on. Come on. Come on. 86%. Really? Really? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. All our armies are in us. If we get Elm City Rebels now, we're, we're out. We're out. Ah, oh, nice. In my studies of war at Fair, I've come to realize that clever tactics on the battlefield are only part of the story. Get Inspiring Leader, Siege Leader, or Organizer. Um, I think we'll go for Inspiring Leader. Given that we are fighting a very much uphill battle here. So any morale bonuses we can bank on will be, will be somewhat useful. Ticking War Score has won that one for us. Thank God. Okay. You are at war with me because of lack of pay, which is... Just shit. Um, and that's this guy there. Okay, and what about you? Indira war now. Okay, now House Indira will have declared war on us for Padani. Well, let's deal with the Argonians first. There's 3,000 men in fucking Mournhold. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Okay, visit the peddlers. Give me some tasty, tasty venison. Sell the tasty, tasty venison. It's a deal. Yep. Okay. Get us on the sensor. What a fucking mess. Um, we could hire more troops. And in fact, I feel like we're probably going to have to here. I hate to say it. Ah, shit. Look at the monthly cost, though. Ah, okay. Right. Bring them together. That should be enough troops to keep our... Oh, dear. To keep our armies topped off? When are you getting there? Soon. Not soon enough. <sighs> fucking clawed it back, though. We're fine. Think of the reparations we get from House Inderil, though, if we overthrow him. Because that's not just a, du a duke within House Inderil. That's fucking House Inderil. This is this is big dick energy. Oh, my God. We're with so many people. We've won, though. We've won. And he called in. I don't know if you noticed that. He just called in the, uh, um, the Arc Cannon as well. Boom. Get out of here. 604 gold. We've, we've come out the other side. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Now we just got to deal with these damn Argonians that betrayed us because they weren't paid enough. There we are. Slaver seemingly operating in Nalthon has raided our settlements and saving a large part of the population. Um, and Tanval gains 50 prestige. You big bitch. Get out of here. Right, is that the Argonian Fighters Guild dealt with then? Or are they going to send more troops? They haven't got any more troops. I think safely at this stage, we can drop our, we can drop our men. And we can get straight back to business. <laughs> what a fucking mess that's been. We've got expulsion. Allows for the use of enclaves. Or we've got... Purges. We could start purging the Dunma and replacing them with Kaima. A full slavery. Oh, really? What, what's the difference between what we've got right now? Only slaves of conquered people will be allowed. Slaves will be allowed. Oh, is that so? So they could just buy them from anywhere. I think limited slavery is fine. Open trade or closed trade. Um, so we lose income, but we lose days of supply. Days of supply are not so relevant as far as I'm concerned. So we go ahead and we'll open trade right up. Let's cross a thousand. There we go. Okay, now that makes me feel a little bit more confident if the Tribunal Temple come a-knocking. To be honest, Mournhold, where it is, is is quite annoying. So I think the first wars, if you want to launch any offensive wars, might be into House Cinderil's territory. Um, it might take about this part. Uh, so what is it? Andrethis. Oh, they've got like two provinces of Andrethis. One part of Thea and then one... So Narsus is independent. We should just grab that one. We can also just slave raid. Oh, cool. Um, you can get a slaver bloodline. I imagine that's what taking all those provinces will do for us. Launch an Inquisition? 
That gives us, what, 3%? Yeah, 3% moral authority for the Cult of Boethia. Um, and how do I expel peoples? So, Dunmer and Civi, uh, how do we expel them? Uh, excuse me, I need to... What, what? Purge button? Is there, a way to, is there a way to go about that? So, in hindsight, maybe starting... Uh, is that a fucking slow? To hiv the hag... Maybe starting uh, internal wars along with all the external wars is probably a terrible idea. So let's just focus down on keeping that gold stockpile nice and high. And then maybe when we get past, say, 1,500 gold, we can start reinvesting into trade posts, things like that, for a bit more passive cash, rather than just funding everything via the marketplace. Which I guess is kind of the point, but maybe not to this extent. These guys going to give us war reparations? We just gained prestige for that one. I suppose they haven't got any gold to pay us with because we didn't pay them. Filthy Argonians are going to pay here. What's that? Black Band. Intrigue plus three, plot power plus five percent. That's pretty good. Known as the lion. Oh, that's quite cool. So what does expert crusader do again? Damage against oh, damage against religious enemies plus twenty percent. Holy fuck, he chose a pretty good. Uh, he chose a pretty good one to go for there. Problem is, we've of course lost gold brand and ebony mail um, through the medium of this game being a shit. Although we've got so many prisoners, gold or prisoners, you know I gotta sacrifice them up. King of Ebonheart, all yours, Boethia. This lady, all yours, Bowie. You know, we might actually be able to get Goldbrand or Ebony Mail back again in no time with all the wars that we're going to be launching. Oh, no. The Tribunal watches over Morrowind, protecting us from outside invaders and grinding against their infinite wisdom. Our duty is first and foremost to honor Fist. Our duty is Fist. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, this is a man who is who has a lot of... He's got a lot of fists in his traits, actually. That's, that's as much as that joke, as far as that joke is going. And with the mushrooms, we're up to 1,364. Are we feeling brave enough to maybe go on the offensive for once? Who are they at war with? Dress slave raid. I want to take this one back first. We need a standing army. We need a retinue or something because this is... Oh, God. Um, do we work on Mournhold? Or do we want to work on... We, we can make Narhold our capital rather than Mournhold. I feel like this is... We're missing too many opportunities by not upgrading this place. So I want battle mages. I want warriors. I want whatever you can offer me here. Um, shrine, gatehouse, archery range, cavalry. No, no, no. I don't think you understand. I want... Battle mages, though. Uh, a mage tower. We need magical arts level 7. Medium citadel level 8. Oh, medium citadel level 8. My god, that's a lot of citadel levels. Small citadel level 7. Right now, we're at level 1. How is Mournhold? Sorry, Amalexia itself starting off as a small hall. Seems a bit strange. Um, okay. And we've got Velothi infantry quarters. Oh, those are cool. Oh, and those will actually give... That gives magic anyway. Okay, medium hall level 2. Well, fuck it then. Let's go ahead and upgrade the hall and see what other troop levels we can get from that. Oh, no. Independence. From all of the vassals. Why? That guy's got fucking 73 opinion. <laughs> you shitheads. Right. Fucking. I'm revoking everything. I'm fucking revoking the lot. You're all so fucked. Did I just say I do not have a choice? Well, it doesn't matter. I guess we could just go to war with them again. Is this not just infinitely easier? Because now we can fight them one at a time. Uh, council say no. Why? Fuck off. Glory hound. No glory. Zealot. Doesn't care. Let's see if we can bribe this guy into joining us then. Um, buy a favorite request. Council support. No. Conflicting interests. Oh, you bitch. The council are fucking me over now. Uh, all we got to do is convince the council to stop being morons. And then we can just go to war and tidy these right back up and revoke them and actually keep them for ourselves. Um... Your claim conquest, they're not into it. They're not into for any of it. <sighs> Shit. Um. So which one gives us the most rewards? That one gives us prestige and favor. So we'll conquest the rest of them in a second. I can't believe the counselor against us like this. Your magister and this guy. Why? Because he's a zealot. But this guy's also a zealot and doesn't give a shit. Um. What if you were to just die? What if you were to just die? Damn it. Uh, fuck this. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm so done with these vats. Fuck them. Fuck the lot. Kill them all. Yep. No more. No more pissing around. This game's fucked me, so I'm fucking the vassals. Get out of here. We're taking back control of this house, like our father did, and his father before him. Rebellious vassals will not be tolerated. Hire the fighters guild. Get out of here. Excellent. Thank you. Good work. Okay. Right. No more rebellious vassals. You're fucking done. I'm out. I'm taking everything back. We're holding all four provinces. We're using the armies. Rebuilding this land. And if I... I don't care if I'm trading all the money to do this. Fuck off. Get out. Yeah. Bet you wish you'd have fucking voted in favor of the council now, you prick. Since you trade the vassals will not object. We don't have title revocation. 
Ooh, okay. Um, bear with me. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, join court. Yes. Anybody with high opinion, bring them all on board. Welcome. Join me, join me, join me. Yes, welcome. Welcome, Ormax. Welcome, Craig. <laughs> Donilu, commander of Crag somewhere. Ormax, the marshal of Wendia. Moriana, courtier in Helcon. And Craig. <laughs> Hello, I'm Craig. I'm here to join your council. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Thank you, thanks, Tank. That's me, thank you. Um, wait, we were his heir, though. We don't need to revoke it. We just kill him dead. Um, Ada Eren. Ada Eren? Sacrifice a prisoner. Ada Eren, goodbye. Oh, we seem to have inherited your title. How strange. How peculiar indeed. Um, who else? They've all had kids, the rest of them, I assume. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, that was quite literally all of our vassals. And you know what? Let's send a fucking message they won't forget. You rebel against this house, you all get sacrificed to Boethia. We are the blessed ones, not you, you dirty cowards. How dare you overthrow your mighty house? Done. Done. I feel vindicated. I feel powerful. Now all we've got to do is try to get the council to vote for us. And on the plus side, we don't become a tyrant now because we haven't... Oh, why does everyone hate us? Tyrant. Ah! Turns out we do, but we do in fact become tyrant. Okay, we're going to have to give positions on the council to just people who like us rather than people who are skilled. Which... Ah, uh, you know, comes with some issues, but we'll, we'll cross those when we get there. Uh, gifts for my new friends. Yeah, welcome. I am a just and generous ruler. All rumors you've heard of me being a horrendous tyrant, they're just mostly overblown. Exactly that, they're rumors. They're just rumors. After selling some pork ribs, we're back up to almost 300 gold. Unfortunately, because my stupid fucking vassals wanted independence, they now ironically lost independence by getting themselves served. Um... There's nothing I can do. Like, the council just won't vote in favour. So we've just literally got to sit here now and watch as our rams are swallowed up. And there's fuck all I can do about it. Oh, God. Councils are so frustrating, aren't they? Um, yeah, there's really just nothing at all. I can't even, like, buy favours from them. I can't request council support. Um, this guy's already voting for us anyway, so we wouldn't want it with him. Let's uh, see. Declare war. Who are we missing? Okay, buy a favour from you, then. 80 gold. Take it. Whatever. Take it. There you go. Right, there's one council member. And we needed four in total, didn't we? So you're on board. And then let's see if we can buy something from our sister. Um, buy a favor. She wants 400 gold. You're a fucking idiot. And these councillors have all started buying favors from one another. So I'm going to sack some of them because this is ridiculous. Um, positions then. Who Who is buying favors from who? Glory Hammer returning favor to Princess Steaming. Ah, she's being the moron. Well, Steaming, isn't that convenient? Uh, ooh, Shimson, though. Oh, cool. We might have accidentally just done it there. Hey, uh, we need one more favor. My wife. By favor. From wife. No. <laughs> Base reluctance. <laughs> Stupid woman. Request counter support. We're fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Right. I've got to do that and owe her a favor, but to be honest, that's fine. Um, oh, you can use a favor to get money from people. That's a bit silly. Um,. Oh, well, I suppose, obviously, you can earn favors otherwise rather than just bribing for them. But, obviously, if we did it, then it would be a bit silly. Calling count support. And now we should be able to declare all the war we like with the troops that we don't have. Cragamore, how many have you got? 300. Right, right, right. Okay, here we are. Um, let's take back this one. We'll have to just accept that the other one is lost. Uh, conquest on Cragamore. Conquest was the breast one. That gave, yes, prestige. And, and then when we get this, we'll revoke it, assuming I can convince the council that, you know, maybe I deserve something. Maybe I deserve one of those titles. And that's how Cinderella have grabbed that one back. Yep. They've started to conquest the land that we've conquested. They're doing to us what we did to House Slalu. Annoyingly enough. 100% already. Oh, shit. Well, that was easy. Damn. Be gone. Okay. There we are. We're starting to rebuild. We're starting to take back control of things thanks to that <laughs> incredible succession earlier. Conquest? Get out. Give me that. That's, that's mine as well. I didn't even check this guy's troops. He might have more troops than us. 1,700. Oh, yeah. He actually does. Good God. Okay, no, 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 no. Time out, time out, time out, time out. You can't just raise troops and then immediately be honest even though our troops have been moving. That's not fair. Okay, we're going to have to hire some mercenaries for this one then, aren't we? Bring them on. Go on. Start moving. Tank's tank does have 28 marshal. So even even though, you know, even though we've got superior numbers, we'd have probably won it either way, even if we were a bit more even. Um, including the river crossing, I assume. Oh, it's hills in that province. Got it. So Sonumu, I've come to bargain. She wants money for a monument. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Remember how I said this episode we would be saving up money? We, we've ended it with 72 fucking gold. Although we've lost stress. Disagree. Strongly disagree on that one. Oh, we stole a fox. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
We stole that man's fox. Incredible. Okay. We're now 9 out of 4 on domain size. I'm not going to land people. Fuck them. No, we have to. Because, of course, this has the enforced thing where... Oh, wow. A lot of it's converted to Kaima culture, though. And cult of Boethia. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Crag and Maul might make for a better capital than Mournhold. Because I can't imagine we're going to be able to hold Mournhold forever. And this is nice up in the hills. Nice and... Nice and hidden away. We're losing, obviously, I'm Alexia. We're losing a holding slot as well. Ugh. Man, I can't believe they converted a couple of them. That's kind of fun. Um, I'll give away something. But I'm going to give away too much. Why don't we just give away the... Why don't we just give away the sub holdings? How, how far down will that get us to? Five out of four. Okay, so we've only got to give away one province then. Let's give away something shit. Yeah, give away Narhold again. Because that's got incredibly low... Uh, let's invite you to court. And then we'll give that one away because that's only got two holdings. So if they go into rebellion, they're going to be very, very weak. Man, look at this land they've grabbed from us. To be fair, we only had like this bit and then also this one. So we've lost five provinces, but we've managed to hold on to a lot more. And we've, of course, revoked some there too. Um, right, so you are the guy that like me. Yeah, you are. Now hold is yours, my friend. Now, how many duchies are we holding on to? We've got two duchies. I mean, I could give one away. We'd have to ensure we were best friends with them forever. I wonder if possible sell one more set of artifacts, if you can call them that. Tasty venison. I want to take back these two. Now, we never had Narciss, but oh, maybe we did have Narciss, given that it's under a Kaima. Um, but either way, we want Heimlin. Take those two back, and then we could start pressing down from the south. Head into... If we head into House... Uh, it's House Drez, right? Got it. Start heading through there. By the time the tribe to be in the Temple of Cord and all their allies, they've got to come all the way down from, you know, like Telvanis. They've got to come down from House Redoran. We've only really got to worry about House Inderil coming in as their backup there. And how many troops have they got? 4,000. I mean, it's not a massive amount, is it? Let's hire a nice band of mercenaries. No Argonians. Not after last time. Once bitten, twice shy. Get them down here, and then we'll declare war. We'll immediately send those guys out. And while they're doing that, we could use our own troops for a little bit of raiding. I think it's probably not a bad idea. So hopefully with the raiding, as long as we start raiding before the war fires, obviously we can keep doing it. But the raiding should be able to pay for the upkeep on the troops. And then we use mercenaries to do the damage in the war. Oh, why am I doing that? You need to have your fucking troops lowered to declare war, you fool. Conquest, right, get in there, kill them dead. Oh, so of course we can't actually raid after all. Ha ha ha! Um, infestation, can't do anything about it because we've only got 26 freaking gold left now. Brilliant. We have to be fast with these mercenaries then, huh? This is five gold per month. Okay, right, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> collect taxes? 2.5%. Wow, you shouldn't have. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Maybe we can just burn this down quickly and get it done. Burn it. 59%. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thanks, tank. Uh, get you on. Get you on as well. Burn it down. 100%. We're good. Nothing to worry about. Right, can we also grab this one quickly? Start heading down there. Come on, 31, 24. The money from that war has just kept us topped up here. Uh, conquest? Comes to saying no. What are you talking about? Probably because we have a lot of provinces in hindsight. Okay. Let's give some let's give some shit away. That'll cheer him up a little bit more. And then what do we want to give away? It's got you. You are terrible. Salan is just a just a castle, so we'll give that one away first. Um I'm trying to invite people to court and then land the people who like us the most. Seems like a weird idea, but that way we can also turn them into councillors as well. Should have hired you know what? Before we give the land away, let's give land to someone with high stewardship who likes us. Grant landed title Salan, and then... No. Why? Because she's a fucking nun. Oh, you fool. Stop. Um... Shit. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> so we've got a Bosma Malama. Okay. Okay, well, let's see who we've got in our court then that will make a good steward. And we'll give those... That person land. So you, Grant landed title Salan. You're the same person. Salan? They're up for giving it to her. Fine. But she's got minus 100 opinions, so that's not going to happen. You'd take it. Okay, there we are. He's still got minus however much opinion, but now we've got him on the council. He's not too bad. And how much are you picking up in taxes now? 27.5%. That's better. Fighter of 10 better. Okay, and what about declaring war on Narciss? Um, still not up for it. Because you're malcontent because you're a fool. Why? What if I send you a gift? Will you shut up then? Oh, God. <laughs> if you just kill him. What if we just, we'll just kill him? Come on. I'd like to do it now because we haven't got enough money. We've got enough money to keep these guys around for a month. So we should be able to turn up and burn that down before the month ends. Or was it like just over two? Yeah, just technically two months. Uh, Use clout to claim provinces. Oh. Oh, cool. Right. Not that we need to worry about claims much. Oh, everyone's up on board. Ah, 
So just letting some time tick now that we've given the thing away. Okay, we're fine. Conquest of Nartis. Get down there. They've got a lot of troops, but we should be okay with our commanders. Yeah, thank God for that. Okay, we're fine. Uh, can't really afford to just straight up attack that, uh, attack that, can we? Oh, come on. We're going to lose these mercenaries. Um, raise our troops then. We should have enough now to hopefully see this war through, regardless of mercenaries. Oh, they left. We seized down the top layer, though. And we were able to take over the siege in time. Oh, my God. We've got green spore. What the hell is green spore? Um, can be contracted from slaughter fish and zombies. Okay. Symptoms include irritability and violent outbursts. Ah, <laughs> playing Crusader Kings, then, you mean. Spell of Cure Disease seems to have done us pretty decently. We've got him. Okay. Boom. And now we're at war with what? Oh, come on. And now we're at war with House Inderil. Fine, 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 fine. Not an issue. I mean, it is an issue. It's a massive issue. Oh, we can't even afford to buy any fucking artifacts. All right. And they're going for the whole duchy. Oh, fuck off. Really? So we've lost more land by winning that war. Brilliant. Thank you for watching. That's enough for me for one day. I think that's uh, just about taken a few years off my life at this stage. So that's uh, it's more than enough. Thank you. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I can't say the same. <laughs> Thank you to Crow Skull, Nikki Sticks, My Name Isn't Dio, Distorted Triangle, Justin Rules, Skaz, Silkworm, Sweetsy, Bacon Kitten, Tom Terror 18, Rage Dragon, Taj, Kamarish Mail, Darth Hawk, Pelvis Presley, Scared, Blue Brain, everyone else, the Insane Tear Lovers on Patreon for making this stress fest possible in the first place big thank you to these guys and a thank you as well to couch sitter flum mason fireblast warcats lampy emerald beam hey i'm alex hoopalea valkyrie caron 24 evan dragon 323 devorda attila russian oligarch billionaire and lazarus as well for their support in driving me a little bit mad 